Yesterday we talked about the story of discipleship, and today we're going to talk about the story of Scripture. Scripture follows four main acts, and as we understand those acts, we are able to find ourselves in the story of Scripture and to find our role and destiny in how we serve God. Well, act one is creation. This act tells us that God created a good world. In Genesis 1 and 2, God creates the heavens and the earth, and he calls them good. But this theme of creation and God's ability to make things new and good runs all throughout the scripture. In Ezekiel 36, we see that God creates new hearts. In John 3, God creates literally new people. They're born again. In Romans 8, people become whole new creations in Christ. And in Revelation 22, God makes the new heavens and new earth. Act 1 tells us that God creates good things. Act 2 is the act of exodus. See, what Act 2 tells us is that sin is real and bad things happen often to us. See, in Act 2, we find Israel mired down in slavery in Egypt, and they cry out to God, and God hears their cry and releases them from that bad thing happening to them. This story is one in which we realize that we need to rely on God and trust God and cry out to God. This act of Exodus tells us that there are things we need released from to experience fullness in Christ. So act one is creation, act two is Exodus, and act three is exile. See, after wandering on that path to the promised land for 40 years, Israel finally arrives fully freed from their bondage in slavery. And yet, it does not take Israel long to look to the right and the left and see the foreign gods and idols that other peoples are serving, and they seem better than God, than the God that had delivered them. And so they have wayward hearts, and they are seduced by other ways other than God's way. See, if Act 2 told us that bad things happen to us, Act 3 tells us that we do bad things. It's not just that we are oppressed by sin. It's that we actually act out and pursue sin ourselves. Well, Act 1 was creation. Act 2 was exodus. Act 3 is exile. And Act 4 is adoption and new creation. That in spite of the bad things happening to us and in spite of the bad things we do, God is able to change us and save us and give us firm footing in his family. See, those are the four acts of Scripture, creation, exodus, exile, and new creation. We are to find ourselves in that fourth act, being fully created new so that we can pursue Christ unencumbered by the sin and the adult, uh, idolatry that often seduces us in other directions. So this morning, I'd like to end with a prayer and that I would ask God to help us find ourselves in that fourth act, being created new in Christ. Will you pray with me? Lord, Thank you so much for the scripture that is a gift to us. Thank you for this framework that we've learned this morning about creation and exodus and exile and new creation. And God, I pray that we would stay firmly planted in Act 4. Sin still wages war against us. But I pray that you would rescue us and liberate us from the sin that is happening to us. That you would allow us to get rid of the sin that we pursue ourselves so that we could be fully freed up to love and serve you with everything we are and everything we have. We ask that this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you again for joining us with us, and we'll see you tomorrow with day three of chapter 11 of Learning to Live and Love Like Jesus.